What's going on everyone? My name is Under the Radar and welcome back to another Wi-Fi battle here on the channel. Today I'm going up against Potato Jim. Uh, I'll let him decide the rules. <laughs> and uh, Potato Jim is a very awesome content creator. He's in TBU with me. He has a very awesome uh, channel. I don't want to say centered around uh, movie reviews. But he does do them occasionally, and they're absolutely hilarious and fantastic, and his version of humor is what I love. I love just the way, like, whenever he's doing stuff and he hits a funny moment, it, like, zooms in on his face. Like, you know that type of funniness? I love that shit. Absolutely love the guy's channel. He deserves so many more subscribers than he has, so please, whatever you, I don't care if you stop this video, go over to his channel, subscribe to him. You won't regret it. And he just got a capture card. So that's even better. Um, but we are going to be using the exact same team that we used last time with the uh, Pseudo Wudo, uh, Rock Polish, and Mega Sharpedo, uh, Baton Pass, Sword Stance, Thingy, Defensive, Thingy up top there, Life Orb, Special Thingy down there. I'm so specific with Pokemon. I'm just so good at this game. Okay. We'll do... We'll do the Island Kahuna music for this game. Um, but yeah, so if you guys watched the last episode, we pretty much got screwed up. I kind of was talking to Sly, uh, to Sky afterwards, and he said that he... <laughs> That's my face when I'm scared of things, by the way. <laughs> um, he said that he did not have a Focus Ash. He was Scope Lens, so that's a little bit scary. Um... How do I win this game? Mega Pinsir kind of sort of eats me alive. Uh, I'm going to lead off with Steel Achu just because it actually does a lot of work to his team. Um, like, I can live any one hit from Starmie and I can Oko it. I can Poison Jab the Tapu Bulu. I can U turn on the Magnezone. I can Fake Out and U turn on the uh, Mamoswine. So, Steel Achu actually does a lot of work this game. Steel Achu is always. An amazing Pokemon to bring. I don't care what anybody says. If you disagree, you're wrong. I'm sorry. I might have to plug in my computer halfway through this. Uh, let me just go ahead and plug it in right now. Ugh. No. Come here. Thank you. There we go. Nope. There. Yep. You're seeing me off the screen. Yep. There we go. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Um. So, I'm just going to click U-turn on this thing. And if he wants to go for like a hidden power ground, like he's scarfed or anything like that, uh, I will know if he's scarfed. I will lose a massive win con, but after this, I can just go ahead and I can go into my Decidueye. That's the Pokemon's name that I was looking for. It's funny because this team is so bad that it's not like I'm even looking for a somewhat competitive battle. So he's going to withdraw, and what is he going into? Bonesaw. That's fine. That's an awesome nickname. So we'll go ahead and click U-turn. Do quite literally zero. And now, my friends, it is time. Is it time? I'm going to go into tree. I'm going to go into tree. He can click Earthquake, and he can Oko me. However, looking at his team, I feel like this is a more bulky one. So I think I'm just going to click Head Smash. Can I land this Head Smash? No, he's faster! Why is everything faster than my stupid tree? And that just going takes me out. Why is everything faster than stupid Pseudo Wudo? I wanted to run Choice Scarfed. For the longest time I had Choice Scarfed on this team. But, I didn't. Um, If I can actually threaten this thing out, I can do a lot of work to his team. I think I might go into Sharpedo. I'm gonna go into Sharpedo. I definitely don't think he's staying in here. So there's no need for me to click protect. I think he's going to be switching out into his Tapu Bulu. 
So I'm just gonna click waterfall. Everything is faster than stupid pseudo Udo. Ugh, I just wanted to get off a head smash, but Jim had to be selfish and not let me get it off. Thank you, Jim, for being selfish. No, I just, I truthfully should just run Choice Scarf. Like, like Rock Polish is cool and all, but it's so hard to get it set up. Ion, what is this? What is this? How much does this waterfall do? There is a part of me that wants to Mega Evolve now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my Togedemaru, because if he like goes for a Volt Switch or anything like that, Togedemaru can just eat it up. Even it, it can even eat up two Hidden Power Fires. It can eat up Hidden Power Grounds, though. So he goes for the Volt Switch, we get the Lightning Rod. That is fantastic. And I think this thing is Scarfed or Specs, so he's probably going to hard switch out. I'm going to click U-turn right here. I can go into my specially defensive um, Decidui if he goes into pretty much anything else. If I can, if I can bait in his... Tapu Bulu on my token tomorrow. I'm gonna click poison jab and I'm going to destroy that thing. <laughs> that is my main goal in life, is just to destroy things with Token Amaru. Look at that face. Look at that face. I don't know what he's gonna do here. I'm clicking U-turn no matter what. Because if he's like spexed into I probably should have clicked Fake Out, but I feel like he's going to go into, yeah, he's going to go back into his Marowak right here, I think. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm just going to go right back into... I'm gonna go back into Sharpedo because I'm a man. And what I'm gonna do, instead of clicking at, I mean, Waterfall and Crunch are both resisted by. However. Yeah, I'm just gonna click Waterfall. If he goes into a Starmie next, I can click Crunch and I can kill it. If he goes into his Tapu Bulu, I can Mega Evolve and I click Psychic Bangs and kill it. If he goes into his, uh, this thing, I'm actually going to protect to see what he wants to do. Because I feel like he's going to try to bait me. I really feel like he's going to try to bait me. He saw that my last switch into this was Togedemaru. <laughs> and he's not going to fall for the same thing twice. So right here, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to click protect. Uh, ooh, he actually stayed in. For flash cannon, okay. Um, I'm still gonna click waterfall though. No, I'm gonna click crunch right here just in case he wanted to go into his um, what's it called? Starmie. So, right here, he's going into his Tapu Bulu, like, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it, realistically. Um, so because of that, I really do want to save this thing. Because I really want to save this thing for the Mammoth Swine. I want to save it to get off some damage on the Mega Pinsir. How much does the Psychic Fangs do? I wish I had Poison Fang. Sorry that you guys can see the thing. Shapito, um, Mega Chomp. I have... Things versus Tobulu. Sega Fangs is actually nothing, so it's really not even worth me me going for it. Uh, Switch-ins, that is a very accurate question. I'm just going to go into Decidueye, I think. Yeah. 
Yeah, I want to go into Decidueye. Sorry that you probably just heard me hit the desk. Woodhammer, let's see how much damage this does. I'm fine with that damage, though, because he's definitely in range of a poison jab now. Definitely in range of a poison jab. We'll go for the Spirit Shackle. I'm fine with stacking off my Decidueye right here. The big thing that I need to keep around is my Starmie. If I can keep around Starmie, I'll be in good shape. Because I'll be able to Scald the Mega Pinsir. I'll be able to Scald the Mamoswine. I'll be able to Scald the Marowak. And all of those do not appreciate it. Switch-ins. Meaty Claws. Okay, I'm getting off some damage on this thing, which is awesome. Still some good damage. Um, I'm going to go into my Starmie right here. In case he wants to get a Brox. Be able to threaten him out with a Psychic. Or a Skull, for that matter. And I saw this thing around as Death Fodder for the Tapu Bulu. Tapu Bulu. Wait, hold on. I really hope I just clicked Starmie. Please? Okay, cool. I got really scared. I couldn't remember what I wanted to switch in. So we go to the Ice School Crash. This is going to do quite literally zero because I am a physically defensive Starmie. It does. Close to zero. Um, let me think. While clicking Scald right here is very tempting. I also want to click Psychic expecting Tapu Bulu. But he can't go into Tapu Bulu reliably. Because if he does, he's going to end up taking a lot of damage. Uh, like if he gets burnt is what I mean. Like that's going to really cripple him. I'm just going to click Scald anyway. I know he's going. You are in the grassy terrain. This is going to actually do less than Ice Cold Crash, I think. That's about right. But now I can pretty much spam Zing Zap. Nope, because he still has a Lolan Marowak. No burn. Zone. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm still going to click Scald. Still going to click Scald. I do want to save this thing, though. I do want to save this thing. Because I know after this, he's either going to go in... Ooh, he sets up his rocks. I wish I had gotten the cheeky rapid spin kill, but... It's whatever. Um, I know after this, he's going to be going into his Tapu Bulu. So... I'm trying to think what I want to sack. It's scary that you actually have to say that whenever you're facing a Tapu Bulu. You have to say, well, what do I want to sack here? Um... Yeah, he's definitely going to top of Bulu. Now the grassy train has disappeared. Hmm. Yep. Okay, cool. So what's gonna happen right here is I'm going to I'm gonna go into my Decidueye. Then I think I might actually go into my Kamo. Because a Life Orb Flamethrower should be able to take this thing out. Or I could go into uh, Mega Horn. That's fine. I really think this thing is banded. Um, I'm going to go into Steel at you and I'm going to click Poison Jab. If he's not banded, he'll be going for Superpower right here. Thinking he can live a Zing Zap, which he can, but he can't live a Poison Jab. Then, if he goes into his Marowak, I'm going to click U-Turn on the following turn. Go into my Kamo'o, which can tank any one hit because Kamo'o is decently bulky. Force him out. 
and then I get to fire off a really powerful hit. So I'm going to click Poison Jab right here. Let's see what Jim wants to do. He's going to withdraw switch-ins, and he's going to go into his Marowak. Mr. Pinchy. I'm okay with this. And I get the poison. It's amazing. So easy. Um... I don't want to let this thing set up for free. I do not want to let this thing get up a sword stance. Plus, I'm in grassy terrain, so I might be able to live an earthquake. Me? No, I can't. I'm too frail. Um. Yeah, I don't want him setting up for free. That's the big thing. I have to click Zing Zap here. I have to. I cannot allow this thing to set up for free. And if he sets up a sword stance right here, he actually clean sweeps through my team. Bone saw. Okay. I'm fine with this. I'm fine with this because I get to click um, U-turn. I got damage off on the Mega Pinsir. And I get to do my plan from before of going into my what's it called. I'm going to click U-turn right here. I love the new, uh, like, mechanics behind battling this gen. Like how Megas gain their speed right off the bat. How you can look at the other person's team so you never have to try to remember what the sixth member of their team was. I love that type of stuff. And I love Token Amaru. It's so freaking cute. <laughs> I'm so excited to use that thing in uh, TBU. I hope Jim uploads this battle because I really want to see him put up some Wi-Fi content. I feel like he would produce some very entertaining Wi-Fi battles. Look at how threatening Steel Itchu looks. Just sitting there, just... <laughs> oh, man. So, he does have Stealth Rocks up on my side of the field. He does stay in, so I get off this U-turn for... It does nothing. Um... I'm going to go into Kamo'o, I can, I feel like he's going to go for a Flare Blitz, which would be amazing, because I can tank that, excuse me, I can tank that, and I'll be taking some recoil, Shadow Bone, I can tank this too, not well, ugh, um, I kind of just want to fire off a Clanging Scales, like if he goes into his Tapu Bulu, Unless he's Scarfed, will be able to outspeed him and hit him with a Life Orb Flamethrower. Um, nothing else on his team resists it. Get off a lot of damage on this thing. I'm going to go for Clanging Scales. He's just stay He just stays in, so he's going to be taking a lot of damage to this Life Orb Clanging Scales. Oh my god! Why? It gets so close to killing things. It gets so unbelievably close to killing things. And then it just doesn't. Ugh. Okay. Hmm. I want to save Steel at you. I really, really do. Because I can live a Scald from Starmie and I can click Fake Out plus Zing Zap and kill it. I don't know what I want to do. I don't know if Poison Jab will kill. I don't know if Poison Jab will kill. And that's what's making this decision very, very difficult. Um, I'm going to save uh, Token Amaru. Because if I can just fire off a Psychic right here and get off some damage on something, I'll be able to kill this later on, I think. I really want to just fire off a Scald. Maybe get a burn off on that Starmie. Oh, man. 
Okay, cool. So I can I can rapid spin next turn. And that's the big thing. Rapid spinning next turn is pretty big. I need to get damage off on Tapu Bulu. That's the big thing that I need to do. This battle is so much more intense than, than the last battle. What the heck? Um, trying to think. I still think Token Tomorrow is my win count. Because next turn I go for another Poison Jab. I either kill this, unless he goes for a Horn Leech, which he probably will. I'm gonna click Psychic. I'm sacking this thing off. He only has three Mons left. I can handle them with uh, Mega Sharpedo if I can get the damage off on this thing. He's revealed Mega Horn. I know he has superpower. I outspeed him, so I could have rapid spun away the rocks, but I get off the Psychic instead, which is huge. Goes for the Wood Hammer. He just lost. He just lost his Tapu Bulu to the recoil. He just lost his Tapu Bulu to the recoil. So freaking close, dude. Good thing, though. I can go into my Token Mario, and I can click Zing Zap and kill this thing. I know I can. I know I can. It does like 20%. Togedemaru. Yes, I am calcing this. Uh, jolly. Max HP does 14%. He's definitely below 14%. I'm clicking Zing Zap. If you would go into, um, please kill. Yes, Togedemaru, the champ! I love this thing, yes! Yes, and I'm back at full health. So now, he doesn't know that I'm Assault Vest. Ladies and gentlemen, do you know what that means? I now win, Symmetry. <gasps> I'm Assault Vest, I'm Assault Vest. I can live a Scald. I can live a Scald. We'll go for the Zing Zap. Scald, I can tank this because I'm Assault Vest. That did zero. And he doesn't get the burn. <laughs> oh my god. Almost killed him. Almost killed him. Oh, that was amazing. That was the greatest moment of my life right there. <laughs> uh, we'll go for another Zing Zap. I can tank this Scald. <sighs> Look at Steelichu being an absolute champion. What if he has SV return quick attack and like Stone Edge? Like what if he doesn't have Earthquake? That would make my life. Because then I might be able to live. I might be able to live a return. Mr. Pinchy. Oh my god. Or just don't be Mega Pinsir. Like, I'd be okay with that, too. He's not Mega Pinsir! He's not Mega Pinsir! Can I get the flinch? <laughs> no! No! So freaking close. Okay. How do I want to do this? Gets the Moxie, so he's at plus one. Look at that poison damage. I wish I had Aqua Jet. Grassy Train disappears. So he has Earthquake, Quick Attack, Return. Oh my god, it comes down to whether or not he has Swords Dance. Because a plus one quick attack I don't think can kill me. But I have to click protect. He has the Mega Stone. Please do not have Swords Dance. That is my way of losing right now with Swords Dance. Oh, quick attack. 
Okay, Sharpedo. Listen to me, buddy. Look at that, he's on one HP. So it's either, I go if I can live a plus one quick attack. I'm actually gonna calc this. Sharpedo, I wanna calc this just for my general knowledge. Versus a pincer dash mega. Oh my god. It does 75% max if he's jolly. We're going to click Mega Evolve. And we're going to click Psychic Fangs. Just because I like the way it looks more. So he's going to see Mega Sharpedo. Holy crap! This was an amazing game! Quick attack. There we go. Good freaking game, Jim. Holy balls. That was an amazing game, my dude. Thank you so much. If you guys are not convinced after that amazing game to go check out Potato Jim, go check out check out check out Potato Jim. He's an amazing battler, an amazing content creator, and I will always support this dude's content. But with all that being said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get it out of here. Thank you guys again so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.